peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, if you can, you can pause the video and look up the hymn, He Lives. I want to start this video with a hymn. I serve a risen Savior, He's in the world today. I know that He is living, whatever men may say. I see His hand of mercy, I hear His voice of cheer. And just the time I need Him, He's always near. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, He lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know He lives. He lives within my heart. In all the world around me I see His loving care. And though my heart grows weary, I never will despair. I know that He is leading through all the stormy blast. The day of His appearing will come at last. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, He lives, salvation to impart. They ask me how I know you live. You live within my heart. Sorry about that, brother. Sometimes I'll change the words to make it like I'm singing to the Lord personally. Singing to Him personally. Seems like a lot of these songs were done where we sing them to each other, but true hymns are supposed to be sung to the Lord. Okay. The last stanza. Sorry about that, brothers and Christ. I kind of deferred it into singing like I do when I normally sing just me and the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice, so Christian, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujah to Jesus Christ the King. The hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, He lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know He lives. He lives within my heart. And once again, I apologize. I just, I tend to, when I sing some of these songs, I'll change it. Like instead of saying He lives, I'll say, You live, you live, Christ Jesus lives today. You walk with me and talk with me along life's narrow ways. You live, you live, salvation to impart. They ask me how I know you live. You live within my heart. It's always a heart issue. We get that in the Bible. It's always a heart issue. But brothers in Christ, make sure you're singing hymns. Make sure you're singing hymns. I like that one because we're talking about salvation to impart because the point of this video was that I finally took the gospel tracks. I had a page that I took down. We get. Oops, let's see if I can get this. I probably should have had it prepared ahead of time. Forgive me, brothers in Christ. 
But uh, I took one of my pages down. Hmm. Now I can't remember. I don't know which one was the original. <laughs> the original. The original. We gotta have the original because everything else is garbage, right? It's just the originals. Just the originals. Well, there's the original. <laughs> here's the original. I took three of them down there because I didn't have any paper, that like a page. So I took it down to them and they were able to put three together, copy them, put them on a PDF file, and I, I went ahead and had them print out some. And, and the paper that I chose, kind of expensive. What was it? Ten pages, $1.30 a page. It was $13 total, total for 30 gospel tracts. So if you use cheaper paper, <laughs> you know, you can use cheaper paper and it'd be a lot cheaper. But however you want to do it, you can do it. I like the uh, little bit harder stock so when you fold them, you put them places and because I put a lot of, put them in a lot of places like um, bathrooms, what do you call the porta potties along the, the ocean. A lot of the beaches here have porta potties. They have bathrooms that are built in, but they're still like kind of a step up from a porta potty, but still a step down from a regular bathroom. So, so I was able to get them to copy this stuff and put it out, and it, they did pretty good. And this is what your PDF, the PDF file is going to look like. So, I thought I had one, and I don't. But one of those machines that you put it in, and you slice, and you slice. So what you're going to have to do is use a scissors. And when you print it out, you cut down the lines in the center, and you'll end up getting three sheets like this. So you'll get three gospel tracts per page, and you fold it. And by the time you fold it, you want to fold it in a way where the back side has Holy Bible, King James Version. Get a King James Bible today and follow along on YouTube. And I put down two websites, YouTube channels. Uh, one's mine. Um, one was a brother in Christ, um, but what you can do is you can black out that area with the program, with the PDF file program, and you can put anything in there that you want to point them to, you know, a place to buy a Bible, um, some good Bible-believing, God-fearing channels online, okay, it doesn't have to be YouTube, it can be any video platform, okay, or even a website, I just don't have a website. So by the time you fold it in and out, we've talked about this before up close in some of them, the first page, it starts out with, time is running out, are you ready? And it says, for the wages of sin is death, and it shows a picture of hell, people burning, hands coming up, and people burning, and it says hell, and it says, Who, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. So you want the, the hell one on front, the, whole, the King James Bible on the back. So what they do is they read this, for the wages of sin is death, and when they open it up to see the second picture that's in, inside, it reads heaven, and it says, But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So the front, for the wages of sin is death, they open it up, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord, Romans 6.23. And it says here, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And what it is, is you're telling them they're on their way to hell, and there's a heaven. And when they open it up, start you go from the left to the right, and it tells them their state, and that they're on the way to hell, and why they're going to hell. How to get saved, which, first what Jesus Christ did for them, and then how to get saved. Mm -hmm. And I've been handing these gospel tracts out to people, and I've been leaving them everywhere. And a brother in Christ in Canada, because I want to give credit, credit to do, I miss my brother in Christ in Canada. Um, he helped me design all this and put this together, and I didn't realize how much, <laughs> how expensive, maybe it's just because today, because this was done four or five years ago, he, he sent me two huge boxes full of like three, hundred gospel tracts and they're on this really nice thicker paper. Um, this stuff feels like the same only this stuff might be a little bit more expensive because it's shiny. <laughs> it, may, it looks a little shiny so it, it might be a little bit different paper but he helped me put this together and the way he, he helped me design this and get the pictures put up just right he actually had it the right way. I kind of wanted it to have heaven on front and our hell on front and heaven on the back but I kind of like how he, he, he did it this way where the Holy Bible's on back. So when you open it, you start out with hell, where you're heading. You open it up, here's heaven where you can go. And you open it up, it tells the whole story, how to get there. Okay, I like this. And I like the fact that he put hell in the front because 
Let's say they, they don't even open it up. They just read it. They read the front. Time is running out. Are you ready for the wages of sin is death? Hell. All oh, this is garbage. Hell. You planted a seed. It's there in their head. It's stuck in their head. But remember, you can put gospel tracts places. You can hand out gospel tracts to people. But I finally got this on a PDF file, and I've been sharing it with brethren uh, via email. Um, messenger programs like Facebook Messenger, Skype. Um, I don't have a website to put the PDF file up on for so that anybody can just grab it. I would if I did. I, just, I don't know how to do a, web, a website, and I just never did get around to doing a website. I'm not that big to have a website, maybe. You know, I'm just, It's just me trying to serve the Lord the best I can. So I want to get this out that, hey, God bless me. I'm just grateful that it was possible that we got this. Because I've had brethren say, hey, I'd like to get that gospel track. You keep showing those gospel tracks. I'd like to get one of those. And I, I just, I lost the PDF. I think, to be honest with you, I lost half the PDF. Because when I was looking through my folders on the computer, uh, my file folders on the computer, I found one where it had the front page here with all the pictures. But the back page was missing. I couldn't find the other half of it. Ah, oh, forgive me, O oh brothers of Christ. I need to be more organized. Um, but yeah, so that's my main point, just making a quick video to say, hey, uh, God help me get this on PDF. If you want it, email the ministry, prayer and testimonies, 2018 at outlook.com. Prayer and testimonies. 2018 at Outlook.com. And it'll be in the About page of the YouTube channel. Out page, out page, I'll try to remember to put it in the comment section. You know, So you can do that. And if you email the ministry, I can drop the PDF file into an email and get it to you ASAP if you want this gospel track. not, that's okay. I just wanted to get it out there for the brethren. That's something that the brethren can do. And I was going to end it right there, but then the Lord put it on my heart and said, Are you just going to end it right there? Why not uh, exhort the brethren a little bit? So, uh, Colossians chapter 1 verse 10 says, That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work. Giving out gospel tracts, it's a good work. There's some men that complain about the cost of gospel tracts, there's some men that complain that people just look at them and throw them away. And then when you look at them, they're not really doing much witnessing for Jesus Christ. Okay? Be careful. I was one of those men. If you think I'm kicking somebody else personally that you know, I'm kicking this man right here. I used to think that too. It's just getting to the point where it seems like a waste of money and everything. But it's a good work. And the Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. You shall reap if you faint not. So then again, I'll say it again, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increase in the knowledge of God. I understand that if you're trying to give gospel tracts in a certain area and it's unfruitful, then go to another area. Okay? But don't give up on giving out gospel tracts and handing out gospel tracts. Don't give up on witnessing, being an open door. Uh, we had a video recently, Are You Ready to Witness? That being said, brothers and Christ, I want to leave you with this. Usually I leave you with grace and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And it is. And I do love you. And it's not just something I say. We're going to get into a study about this. I love you, brother. I'm here for you, brother. I'm praying for you, brother. It's just a salutation these days. It's just something that you're expected to say as a Christian. But do you mean it? I mean it. I love my brother and Christ. I want grace and peace in the body of Christ. So I want to end this with what's going to be Ephesians, or no, Philippians. Philippians chapter 4. I was reading this a few days ago. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Philippians 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Another verse, i got to do a side part. Another verse of, that Paul was looking for that day of Christ the day of redemption, and that blessed hope, how the day of Christ is at hand, the Lord is at hand. Okay. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. How's your prayer life going, brother, says Christ? What's getting in the way of your prayer life if it's not going so well? 
Whatever's getting in the way, it might need to go. Verse 7, And the peace of God, the peace of God, grace and peace from God our Father, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, what sort of things are true? What sort of things are honest? What sort of things are just? And what sort of things are pure? What sort of things are lovely? What sort of things are of good report? If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Think on these things. Think on these things. Think on these things. Think about the brethren. Okay. Anything that's true, honest, just, pure, lovely, good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. You say, wait, well, you keep saying that. But this is Christ, you're getting distracted by the, the world and you're forgetting what matters. Sometimes I get distracted by the world. We're trying to fight this flesh every day and it's good. This world is getting wicked, sin's at, the, at your fingertips, and you really have to work twice as hard. You have to, and what I mean by working is twice as hard, Brother Christ, you got to stay in this book twice as much. I found myself in these last days, I look at when I newly got saved to now, I find that I'm listening to Alexander Scorey reading the Bible every day. I'm staying in this book, starting my day with this book every day, ending this day with this book, and there's times where I read chapters throughout the day. I'll grab the book and sit down somewhere and read a chapter and talk to the Lord about it. I'm praying more. Why? Because the battle against the flesh and the lust of the flesh, the battle against the, just being distracted by the world and the ways of the world and what's going on in the world and the, the enemy coming in, you know, Satan and his minions. I call them minions, but the Bible says his ministers are transformed into the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. The enemy is coming in trying to distract us. They're trying to entice us through the flesh, and they're trying to distract us through the world. And I find that you, we need to fight harder. And how do you fight harder? You need to stay in this more. You need to stay in prayer more. You need to get into some good fellowship with good brothers and sisters in Christ. Exhorting one another through the scriptures. Praying for one another. So, brothers and Christ... I got PDF files for this gospel tracts. There's other gospel tracts online. Make sure you're out there witnessing, Brothers Jesus Christ. Make sure you're out there witnessing. And if you want gospel tracts, um, I'm, I'm not telling you to be out there and be an evangelist. That's not what I'm saying. What I mean by getting out there and witness, I'm witness I mean anywhere you go, you can drop a gospel tract. If you have to go to town to get gas, get groceries, get clothes, uh, buy stuff to fix the house. Anytime you want to go in town and go walk somewhere, like at the, the, the um, park, the lake, the river, the ocean, you know, or you're just going for a walk around the neighborhood, always have a gospel tract on you. And uh, Peter, First Peter, I think it is, always be ready to give an answer, the hope that is in you. Always be ready to give an answer. We're supposed to be a living witness and a verbal witness. Be careful. Seems like we're getting distracted by the world a lot too much. I've seen great men of God get distracted by the world and get taken down by the lusts of the flesh and the world covetousness and idolatry, world, what I call worldliness, which is covetousness and idolatry, the world's way of doing things. We need to get back to this. We need to get back to this. We need to get back to loving one another. And I guess I guess I will end this with grace, again with grace and peace and God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus. Thank you for your prayers, brothers and sisters Christ, and I'll see you in the next video.